I am a to buy a digital for it. Every single week, ladies, you're a power of engineering to help you find the things that are coming out new. That's why it's new product introduction. It's like the great search, except for she's finding it for you. And it's new. Yeah. This week's Raspberry Pi. On a platter. Yes, this week we're looking at Raspberry Pi mm. products. Notice the green screen is not behind us. <laughs> how, about I, how about I send yeah, you? Okay. Do, yeah. All right. Well, I can drive. So, um, you want to drive? Yeah, sure. You want to do it? You, okay. You Watch out. Don't press the center button. Whatever. Okay. Just don't. If you do, can I just tell me? Give me a heads up. Yeah, I okay. will. I will. Okay. Uh, this week is Raspberry Pi. Um, oh, can I hide me, actually? Because I don't see anything here. What? Because then I, I can show the, the platform. Thank you. Um, this week, we're looking at the RM2 module from Raspberry Pi. This is something that people kind of were expecting was coming out because uh, there were a lot of uh, leaked photos and such. This is a Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Bluetooth Low Energy module available from the folks at Raspberry Pi that contains an Infineon CYW43439. It was a Broadcom and Cypress maybe, and then now it's Infineon. And it adds um, you know, 2.4 gigahertz wireless. What I really like is it has that Bluetooth Classic, which is not always included in um, uh, Wi-Fi slash BLE modules. And it's got um, really great software support. And it's a tried and true and tested chipset. So this comes from the work that Raspberry Pi has been doing for like, a, you know, geez, 2015, a decade now with the Raspberry Pi single board computer, starting with the Pi uh, 3, they've added um, a Wi-Fi chip. So if you see the top left corner there, there's a little white rectangle. Um, that is a uh, antenna for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth Classic using an earlier version of that CYW chip. I don't know, it was like the 43. 556 or something, I don't remember, it's in, it's in the text. Um, and this allowed them to basically have uh, Wi-Fi and you know Bluetooth for keyboards and mice and, and Bluetooth for audio to the Raspberry Pi computer. So if you didn't have Ethernet, you didn't have to get like a separate USB dongle to add wireless, um, which is really great because most modern computers and laptops have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. And then when they released the RP2040 and RP2350 chips, they made these Pico boards that are so popular, very low cost, $4 and $6. And then they added um, a version, the Pico W and the Pico 2W, which also adds uh, a tinned silver thing on the left there. That's that CYW43439 chip under a tin and the whole board is you know, certified FCC and IC. So it's ready to go and you can use it for, again, you know, wireless, Bluetooth, Bluetooth Classic. Um, for a very low cost as a coprocessor to the RP2040 or the 2350. Now, you can buy this chip from DigiKey directly. Um, it's even in stock. But what's interesting is that it's basically for the same price as buying a couple of the chips, you can get um, a module that's ready to go. And what's really nice is that, you know, um, this is a BGA chip. You also need a crystal, you need the antenna, you need certification, you probably want to tin it. Da, da, da. Before you know it, it's like, okay, it's basically $4. Well, then you can just buy the ready-to-go module, which has big castellated pads, which I like. It's uh, very compact. You can fit it onto your dev board or your final product. And this way, you don't have to do the embedding of that entire Pico board. Also, let's say you want more flash memory, right? Or you want to add PSRAM. That's not something that's easy to do with the Pico 2 because it's a Pico 2W or Pico W. You know, they're already you know, made and constructed and, um, you know, you can't change things like the dimensions and you can't change the amount of flash easily because it's, you know, the footprint is preset. So we've seen this chip actually, so this module show up on a couple boards. Like for example, uh, Pimeroni has the Pico plus 2W, they're friends of Raspberry Pi. So that, you know, they kind of became early alpha slash beta testers of the module by picking, placing it onto the back of this board to add, um, you know, wireless support. If you want to use this module, um, it has, you know, that's not, if you saw, there's not a lot of pins on it. It basically uses SPI power and a couple signal pins to connect to a microcontroller that, or actually it could be a microcomputer too. There are drivers for the CYW43439. Although in this case, I'm going to be talking mostly about microcontrollers. And one thing to note is that while in theory, you could use this with other microcontrollers, your STMs, your Atmels, your PICs, whatever. Um, 
Renaissance, whatever, what they really support only is to use it as a co-process for Raspberry Pi microcontrollers, like as of right now, the RP2040 and the R2350 series. Now, again, there's nothing technically keeping you from connecting other things, but the firmware that's available um, through the Pico SDK is um, licensed specifically for use with the RP2 series. Um, the Bluetooth stack isn't, we'll show that, but the Wi-Fi firmware, which was written um, you know, with a collaboration with another company, is not available for non-commercial uses without licensing, unless you're using it with a RP2 microcontroller. So basically, as long as you're using it with a Raspberry Pi chip, you're good to go. If you're using it with something else, you would have to license it. Um, that said, we did find another standalone Wi-Fi driver. We haven't tried it, but this would be MIT licensed and maybe you, know, you would be able to use it. So I, I do think it would be cool for people to be able to use this with other chips if they desired, but you're gonna get the best performance and capabilities and functionality with um, the RP2 series. And as I mentioned, there's also Bluetooth, classic Bluetooth energy that's supported through BT stack, which is completely free licensed. So if, for example, you want to use this just as a Bluetooth, you know, coprocessor for BLE or Bluetooth classic, um, you just install B, uh, BT stack, which is a, a cross platform, low memory microcontroller uh, for more stack. And right now there's only one part number, but it sounds like, you know, based on their part number classification here, they might eventually have a version that has five gigahertz. Um, they might have versions that does Wi-Fi six or more and different uh, Bluetooth standards. But um, right now they only stock the RMC 2452. Everyone sort of calls it the RM2 module, but um, that's the correct part number. And it's in stock at DigiQ right now. You can purchase it. Four bucks in quantity. You can get it on tape and reel for immediate picking placing. It also is not too bad to hand solder if you so want to. Yeah, one that's the, it. One of the neat things about this is it was developed kind of in the open. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't, they weren't too secret about it. They were because people saw that there was dev boards it, with this. It channel. helped us out. We yeah. we have things that we we've made um, under this friend DA type thing. Yeah. It's possible, everyone, and they get, they hit the ground running. Yeah. I think this is pretty good. All right, Good that's, that's INPI. So pick some up. Available at DigiKey. I on NPI.